So we're out here in the bush today, uh, turning these two chicks into freaking ninjas with this rifle. First time ever shooting this uh, rifle. First Casey's first time ever, ever shooting a scoped rifle like this. That Ew. is her first three shots in her life. After our <laughs> five minute coaching session from Rex, that's where we got her. And then of course Mrs. Rex did good as usual. And uh, so that was a good start. These guys are gonna be uh, winning. Howdy guys, Rex here. This is the RX100 Zero to Deadly Course pre-class video. So if you're signed up for the RX100 or you're thinking about it, the course basically is going to cover a lot of details on the internal ballistics of the weapon and the shooter as well. Uh, when you touch the rifle, you instantaneously become a part of that system uh, because the harmonics, the recoil, everything transfers from the rifle back into you. So exactly how you interface with that rifle, exactly how that rifle is laid down, how the firing position is constructed, has a huge effect on the point of impact of that bullet. Anytime you see shot dispersion, that's where you have bullets that are all not in the exact same hole, which is basically real life, that's what's going to happen. Uh, that's the reason why, is because everything's not exactly the same. In this course, we're going to walk you through all those details and show you how much different things can affect that. Understanding the science of internal ballistics and how that interfaces with the biology of the shooter is incredibly important if you want to move on later to long range shooting. Long range shooting is great. There's a lot of fancy equipment you can buy. There's a lot of knowledge you can have in your head. But if you can't execute the fundamentals of marksmanship properly, along with having sound internal ballistics with your firing position and exactly how you're touching that rifle and if you don't really understand how important it is to be absolutely consistent um, it's going to be a very difficult game in which you blame your misses on things like spin drift, Coriolis drift, leprechaun drift uh, whatever else different ex there's a lot of excuses guys come up with at long range because of the complexity of atmospherics involved right? Uh, but with zero to deadly the 100 yard class is, I think, one of our most important classes because it is the foundation of getting you set up to be a shooter. There are really so many different things, guys, that we're going to teach you in this class. Uh, it's really a field seminar in a lot of ways in terms of internal ballistics, teaching you about the rifle, how everything flexes, how the harmonics are transferred, uh, how to keep the system tight, how to maintain the system for accuracy, how to adjust everything, how to you know establish a proper boresight zero, zero the rifle uh, for the task at hand, how to lay down behind the rifle properly uh, for different applications. And we also do a little testing, you know, letting people... Uh, change it up a bit and also observing how that changes the performance of the rifle. The goal of this class is not necessarily to uh, achieve those consistent one whole groups, but it's to show you how the rifle actually works when you change up anything in the system, uh, particularly how you're laying behind it exactly or how, how the firing position is laid out. It's just such a good class in terms of understanding what's going on. You see what you did? Yeah. That's actually pretty good, you know. <laughs> you can't shoot long range successfully, consistently, if you're not a good shooter. So getting you to be a good shooter and also understanding the details of a rifle and how everything works is very important. So there are some basic things you're going to want to know ahead of time in the class. Don't get too carried away about trying to buy the most expensive stuff possible. Uh, all you need is a sound rifle and optic uh, put together in a sound way with decent ammunition and you'll be ready to roll for this class. Read the equipment list on the actual course details list on the website. That's why we have the website. You can click on the actual course. There's little tabs in there that says equipment list. And basically you just need a rifle and a scope. If you choose to use a scope, if you want to use open sights, it's basically the same science. <laughs> so you're welcome to bring anything you want to this course. We're going to be shooting at 100 yards uh, so that we can eliminate variables of atmospherics so that we can tighten up the loosest nut of the entire system, which is us. Mm -hmm. 